Sean, I love digging at reality, seeing what's there, how much deeper can we go? And, and what do we find at the deepest level? Uh, laws of physics, quantum mechanics, certainly are one of the candidates, string theory. Some people will now talk about information being not just a metaphor of describing what these things mean, but rather something that's even more fundamental, that information itself is what gives rise to everything else, like quantum mechanics. How do you see that? I'll confess that my opinions about information are not completely mature. They're, I'm, I'm willing to have my mind changed by good arguments. But having said that, I tend to think of information in very similar ways that I would think about ideas like entropy or energy, which is to say they are ways of describing reality, but they're not absolutely fundamental necessary ingredients of any description. We could get along without talking about information, just like we could get along without ever talking about energy. Okay, uh, we could do that, we could get along without it, even if it were something that were fundamental, but you're saying, as far as you can tell, there's no reason to believe that information is somehow a deeper foundation than the laws of physics. I don't think information is deeper than the laws of physics. I think it gives us a useful handle. I, I think of it as a description, but I, I only hesitate in saying that because it sounds like I'm downplaying it. I think it's an incredibly useful handle, a really sharp tool that helps us understand how reality works. But it is a tool. It is not an absolutely essential part of reality itself. And it, 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 when you say it's a tool, is that like a mathematical equation is a tool, which is either an accurate or an approximation of reality? Uh, because uh, people who defend this would say that the information is contained in every operation that the universe does is a computation. Uh, and therefore, because of that, the information is more fundamental to what the universe does. Yeah, I, I, I hear words like that all the time about how everything is a computation, what's happening in the universe and its evolution is information is being processed. I think that gives me an angle to look at the universe, but I, I don't think it's a necessary or fundamental angle. I think that I could, there's, I don't imagine a question in physics about how the universe changes from one thing into another that I couldn't answer without ever talking about information. So how would you answer? By using differential equations? I mean. That's right. So going back to Isaac Newton, who said that you describe the world by giving the positions and the velocities okay. of all the particles, and then I have laws of physics that tell you how they evolve with time. In quantum mechanics, we've updated that with wave functions and quantum states, but it's still the same paradigm. Mm -hmm. And information gives us a useful way of conceptualizing it, but it doesn't change the underlying laws. And what would it take for you to change that opinion? What would you have to to know or think about the structure of the universe to say, well, wait a minute, maybe information is more fundamental than I realized. I think that's the, the central question. What would it take for someone to say, me or somebody else, to say information is absolutely central or foundational or fundamental? Well, construct a theory, a better theory than the one we think we have about the universe, in which information plays this central role. The, uses to which information, information theory, and information processing are put, as far as I understand them, are ways to understand physical processes that are described by other things, that are not described fundamentally by information. So if that were not true, if there were a better theory of the universe, in which information was the first thing you needed to start talking about that theory, then I would totally change my mind. Well, I mean, some people claim that either mathematics, pure mathematics is that uh, theory, some would say uh, like cellular automata uh, are, are the, uh, the rules of the universe which are described in information, that, that you could use those kinds of things and build up to the laws of physics and quantum mechanics. I don't think that any program starting with all the laws of math or cellular automata or anything like that has made any appreciable progress toward a better understanding of the fundamental laws of physics. So I'm still in the show me the money phase <laughs> of this kind of programming. Maybe the cellular automata in particular are just wildly different in every way from the laws of physics as we actually understand them. They're Most of them are not reversible with respect to time and so forth. They're classical and, and so forth and so on. So. If someone comes up with a theory that actually convinces me they have a better theory than the one I have, I'll change my mind. 